Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to install GSI on your Samsung Galaxy S21. So before moving forward, I just want to say this, do it on your own risk. Don't do it if you don't know anything about GSI and flashing ROMs and doing custom ROMs. If you're a first timer, just do research and then go forward with this. Don't blame on me that you have a boot loop device or so and so so and so so what you need is a pen drive and you need three files so the first file i'm going to tell you is a gsi so i'm going to give you a link for all the gsis here so pick one which you like so if you want to see our droid the cr droid so let's let's go for the cr droid okay and click on CR droid download and then you have to go to you have to go for arm 64 bng that's if you want uh, bng means if you want google apps it should be g in the middle b n yeah if it's a b v it's vanilla okay so i'm gonna choose this one and let's download so once it downloads downloads then you have to extract the file it's a zip file so you extract the file from using rar so okay once you extract that one is in this link so it's simple you need microphone that's for microphone fix for your GSI so if and then there's the kernel you need this kernel so you need microphone and the kernel once you click this it's gonna show you that you need to download this yeah click on that and it's gonna download that or download button so okay I have the file so I'm not gonna download it then you need uh, the kernel so you click on the kernel this is hurry kernel you need fires 21 users click on the first one the first one o one s is yours so hurry kernel 1.7 o one s click on that and download it yeah these two files so you need a gsi which is arm 64 ab and then you extract it then after extracting boot into twrp flash it flash the image to the system i'm going to show you and then flash the microphone fix and then flash the kernel yeah do this three steps so i'm going to show you how to do it and to boot into your samsung s21 you need to connect it to the computer so you need volume up and power and you need to plug it into the computer yeah so once you're into twrp i would tell you please install twrp 3.5.2 because uh, if it gets boot loop you just need to go here advance and metadata you need to clear if the rom if the rom boot loops no then don't do anything okay so the steps are now go to install go to your usb partition so you go to usb and then i mean go to your pen drive and then select c android i'm selecting c android image select the image arm 64 bng unofficial so once you click that select system dot image on swipe so don't get scared by looking at the warning fail to unmount vendor just wait for the process to finish
once it's done go back don't do anything install go back to your folder and go to find the mic fix microphone fix so swipe that it's gonna once it's done then go and flash Harry kernel and there it is that's all you have to do now for this and then once this is done go here wipe I usually format it because if you boot and you have data inside it it st stays in boot loop if you are in boot loop you have to press volume down and power for it to shut down okay and then volume up and power and then USB for recovery and format data yes so all my data is gone okay now reboot the system press power Here we go. So this should take around 10 seconds, not more than 10 seconds. It should boot up quickly. This shows up sometimes. So let's see after setup here. Yeah? So here we are booted to the GSI. Oh, it's blurry, sorry. So this is the C Android GSI. So this is the C Android GSI with all the C Android features customize it till your heart yeah so thanks guys thanks for watching peace out